Hey YouTube. Sometimes when you when the sun's starting to set, it gets a little spooky to go in the woods. A lot more noises. A lot of things are moving around. Things are waking up. You kind of have to watch your step. Out here sometimes there's a lot of predators, very large predators. You ever get, well, don't want to go in the woods though out here by yourself, especially if you're unarmed. I'm taking a risk by being out here guys. Lots of very large predators. Oh man, big spider. Crap. It's hard to see the spider webs when you're it's starting to get dark. These spider webs pop up almost overnight. Well, they do pretty much. I did want to show you something that was really cool. Got another spider web right here. Let me just knock that down. See if I can get past it. moving in there. Oh, it's just a frog. Okay. Okay, guys. Gotta be careful. I wanted to show you this, this like, drop-off pit. Well, it's not so much a drop-off, but a, a big old hole in the ground. It's kind of hard to see this, but uh, I wish I had a flashlight on here. Maybe I'll be able to turn that flashlight feature on. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can get to it. Okay, I got the flashlight feature on. It probably goes at least 30, 40 feet if more. It's a pretty big old hole in there. It's pretty neat. I think this whole area though is sitting on top of, of maybe a cave system or something. It's what it seems like deep into the woods. I do have a path I try to make, but all the wildlife tends to use it too. I see a lot of tracks, a lot of game and stuff. They try to use the path of least resistance. It's actually really spooky though when you camp out out here at night because you start seeing things moving, uh, things you can't hardly identify because it's too dark. This is a great time though to have like a nice headlamp. Maybe a, an AK-47, a rocket launcher, several grenades, signal flares, and uh, basically maybe a, a homing beacon to signal for help. But other than that though, you should be fine. Surprisingly though, a lot of my neighbors though, they, uh, they told me stories about how they've been pinned down by wild animals. And uh, we're not talking about wild packs of dogs, we're talking about bigger animals. So I just wanted to take you out here when it's starting to get a little darker. It's not totally dark yet, but in the woods it's always a little darker than it is outside of the woods, as we know. So I'd say in another 30 to 40 minutes it's going to be pretty much pitch black. And you definitely don't want to be caught out here without some good, a good light source. It gets pretty dangerous. So. I want to go ahead and head on back. It'll take me a few few minutes to get back to a, a more open area. But you guys take care of yourself and be safe in the woods. And enjoy the woods when you're out and about. You know, it's it's fun to explore. Just just do it safely and be mindful of, of the things that can happen and have those contingencies. And as always, uh, we'll catch you real soon.